Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything coming at you with another channel update for my wargaming channel on YouTube. Uh, what, what I noticed that I've been doing a lot lately is playing computer games, but I've also been doing a lot of role playing games and, uh, and all the activities that I've been doing, like building terrain or or painting miniatures or anything like that, has revolved around the role-playing games and not so much the historical wargaming. So, uh, so bear with me. That's that's kind of my focus right now is RPGs and uh, the miniatures and the terrain pieces and things like that, building construction, things like that that go with the RPGs. But I'm also doing quite a bit of computer gaming. So I play a lot of War Thunder, Star Citizen, XCOM, uh, which is coming out with a new uh, DLC very soon, and um, Elder Scrolls Online. I've been playing a lot of Elder Scrolls Online, so if that's something you're interested in, drop drop me a message on our Discord, or, uh, or just say hi or whatever, and say, hey, you're interested in maybe teaming up with me uh, in Elder Scrolls. You know, and I'll be glad to like team up with you, go on some raids or whatever. Uh, if you play XCOM, let me know. You know, drop me a line. Say, hey, I play XCOM too. Uh, not just two, but also. Here we go. And uh, I am still working on my XCOM role playing game again. That revolves around role playing, right? But um, we're just having such a good time doing the RPG, the role playing. We're playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons here in the in the uh, man cave here, and. Uh, yeah, we're just it's just going well you know so uh so now have i have i i've thought about this a hundred million times to record our dandy games and put that up on the channel uh but i've not pulled the trigger on that i've not i don't have enough cameras to hit all the actors i don't have enough lighting to co well, i do have enough lighting but i don't have uh the room to set up cameras and the backdrop would be like my shelves, like which is either or something, and it's just, it's not really like a studio, and it just would feel uncomfortable on camera. Uh, I'm I'm shy. No, I don't know. Uh, so, so we're not gonna we're. I I want to do that. That's something I would love to do, but I'm not putting any priority on that. I am wanting to make an XCOM RPG. Uh, but am I any, put, I'm not putting any priority on that either. When the legacy pack comes out, I might that might fire me up to do more. Uh, now, in the past month or two, I've been painting a lot of World War II planes. I've stopped painting them. I put them aside because they're all done. I uh, built a Chinook, and why I bought this Chinook and built it was, and it's a 25 millimeter Chinook. It's for my XCOM game. It's going to be the transport into the missions. And then uh, I painted a bunch of skeletons recently. Um, the Blenheim, of course. I did some snake men uh, in D&D. They call them some Yanti. I did that for the Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, but now the Tomb of Annihilation is over with, and we've moved on to the Dragon Heist. There aren't any Yanti. But I painted them. And I painted monsters and built... I actually scratch-built monsters. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those videos, go back and check out those videos. I'm not sure what other videos I have on there. But I, I do have videos on Elder Scrolls, XCOM. Oh, that's right. I started a new playthrough of uh, Operation Flashpoint, uh, Dragon Rising. I filmed like one video and then, and then I played the game to the end without recording it. Which is like another... 20 missions or something but i figured you know I, if i needed to i could ever i could always go back to mission two and record that for you guys but um yeah uh next thing is uh we got that convention coming up in Ju june uh nashcon down in nashville uh we as a club here don't really know have any idea or know what we're gonna do uh, last year we didn't figure it out until like February and we had to cram like I was like painting Napoleonic figures like a madman so I want to try to figure it out next month or within the next month or so Mike's been asking me every month or so he'd be asking me like hey what are we going to do what are we going to do I think we're going to do something simple something easy to set up not a whole lot of stuff to carry uh, 
but I want it to be good. So I don't know. I don't know. We might play some fantasy game. I'm going to I'm going to break the mold because um every, that convention is traditionally a historical game uh convention like Waterloo or uh Napoleonics or Civil War or Ancients or you know um World War II ships or planes or basically it's normally historical. I would like to take some kind of sci-fi game down there like Battletech or you know or some kind of fantasy game like uh like um confrontation or or even or even an RPG that would that would just people down there would lose their mind if we ran a session of Dungeons and Dragons it would be like what <laughs> Yeah, so what I was thinking I was going to do is design my XCOM RPG and play a few matches of that down there. Um, that's really what I've been thinking about. But for that to succeed, i got to build a bunch of modern terrain and paint a bunch of modern figures and stuff. And I'm not in, I'm not in the mood to do that right now because of all the D&D figures i got to paint. So, well, I don't know what we'll do. We'll probably play a D&D adventure module or, or maybe some Traveler. That would really blow people away. Or by that time, I'll have the Fantasy Trip because the Fantasy Trip comes out in March. So I could have a big Fantasy Trip game or you know a couple of sessions of the Fantasy Trip. I don't know. I'll keep you guys informed, let you know what's going on. If you got any suggestions, drop them in the chat below. I love you guys and I'll catch you next time.